Hey guys, this is Big Apple Airsoft, and today we're going to be going over the FCU unit in the Polar Star, which is the fire control unit, and this controls all, actually everything that goes on in the Polar Star, with the nozzle, I'm going to try to get that in the shot, with the nozzle and the solenoids and all that stuff, and I'm going to be going over it. So, what there is, there's this little knob right here, this little black thing, it goes left, right, up, down and you can push down on it now when you push down on it it changes it from safe and then full auto or semi or safe but that doesn't change the screen now you always want to have a battery plugged in when you're obviously shooting the gun or you're changing these settings because it won't give power to the FCU unit and nothing will show on this little screen now, I'm gonna keep it on full auto for the purpose of this video and if you push down on this, it changes it to safe. Now, when you're on safe, you want to go left and right to go through all the settings. This is the full we'll auto start. setting. So I have it on full auto right here. You can change it to 9 by going down this knob. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1 round burst. 1 round burst is semi if you want to pin your gun to semi only. Uh, so, yeah, that's your rounds of burst right here. And just to show you, that's 9. I'm going to pull the trigger and hold it. And it just stops after nine shots. So yeah. Now the next setting. Actually, I'm gonna keep this on full auto. Next setting is DN, which is nozzle dwell. And the higher this setting is, the longer the nozzle is held to the rear, which allows for slower. I mean, which allows for slower feeding mags to cycle better. So I have it on ten because I have a fast feeding mag, the E mags. By PTSE mags made my mag pull if I can get that in the shot, yeah. Um, but average the uh, default setting for this is 14 for like an average mag, maybe a high cap or something, and that's how fast that'll shoot. But if you go to that setting and you raise it up to like 25, it's it slows down the rate of fire a lot. So I keep mine on 10. And you can mess around with this, test your mags and all that stuff. Now, DP is pop it dwell. And what this controls is how long power is applied to the pop it solenoid. And the default value for this is 25, which is what I have at. I haven't really messed around with it because I don't know how to change it, like how it'll affect my gun. So I just keep it at the default setting, which is 25. Uh... RF is rate of fire. I have it at 1 for the fastest rate of fire. The higher the number, the slower the rate of fire. So if you go to 30, actually, we'll just go to 20. It goes a, it goes a lot slower than when I have it at 1. Now, I'll go back to 1, and then I'll show you the difference. It's like twice the amount of rate of fire. Yeah, pretty fast. And next one is DR, which is return to battery delay. Now, the default setting for this is 22, and that's what I keep it at because what the return to battery delay is, it determines how long you wait for the nozzle to return forward while chambering the next round. And the uh, actual delay time required for each shot, so... They do not recommend anything lower than 17. I don't know why, but that's just what they say. So default is 22. I'd leave it at that if I were you. Now CB is closed bolt. If it's off, you have an AEG. If it's on, you have you should be using that setting with a closed bolt gun. I don't have a closed bolt gun, so I don't know what kind of gun this would go in. But keep that off. OF for off, on for on, obviously. And DB is debounce threshold, which is... Uh, used to filter electric noise from the trigger switch and prevent the trigger bounce, which I don't know what that is, but default value is zero. If I were you, I'd keep it at zero. And that's all the settings. So there's not many. There's only like six or seven. And that's pretty much the FCU unit. If any of these wires pop out, my green one actually popped out, which is why I have this pink... um or orange, whatever color you can see it as, zip tie. My green one popped out, so I had to take off the zip tie, replug the screen wire in right there. 
You just have to shove it back into that hole that is colored green right there. It's like lined up with each wire. And just re-zip tie it. And I have this connector that can connect to the Tamiya cable so I can use my 9.6 and my crane stock. And that's the Polar Star with my blue nozzle. And yep, that pretty much concludes the review of the FCU unit. And yeah, look forward to a shooting test of this coming out soon. And that's pretty much it. And I'm going to be having a custom gun spotlight on this gun because I have a lot of upgrades for it and it looks awesome. So that'll be in an upcoming video too. So stay tuned. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out our Polar Star playlist on our channel because we're going to be having like six or seven Polar Star videos. So. Don't forget to check that out, and thanks for watching. See you guys later.